Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to talk to you about the distributive property. The distributive property is one of several properties we have that governs how we do arithmetic. This is what it looks like. It says that A times the quantity in parentheses, B plus C, is equal to A times B plus A times C. So let's use it, and I think you'll see how useful this can be. Suppose we have 40 times 32. Okay, well, we can line these up and multiply them the normal way, but let's do it with a distributive property. Instead of 32, let's write it like this. 32 is just equal to 30 plus 2. Okay? So now, let's use the distributive property to calculate it. 40 times 30. plus 40 times 2. Okay. 40 times 30 is 1,200. I'll tell you how I know. 4 times 3 is 12, and I just add these two zeros. 40 times 30 is 1,200, plus 40 times 2 is 80. So I get 1,280, 1,280. So instead of lining them up and doing multiplication the regular way, I can use the distributive property to calculate this. Let me give you one more example. Suppose we have 40 times 29. That doesn't really look too appealing, but I can make it easier. I'm going to rewrite 29 as 30 minus 1. And now I'm going to use the distributive property again. So I'm going to multiply this times this, so 40 times 30, minus, because I have a minus sign here, I'm going to keep that, minus 40 times 1. Okay. Again, 40 times 30 is 1,200, minus 40 times 1 is just 40, and that's 1,160. So you can see, you can use the distributive property to make this kind of multiplication easier. And that's one way of using the distributive property. We're going to do an algebraic example next time, so tune in for that. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want to know more about any of the topics we discussed, click on the links. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.